What is going on guys, Joel here back with another video and today we're actually going to be taking a look at some of the top compatible jailbreak tweaks with iOS 7.1.1. Now I've been getting a lot of requests on doing a video like this on what tweaks are compatible with the latest jailbreak because there was recently a new jailbreak release for iOS 7.1.1. I have a link down below in the description so you can check out how to jailbreak your own iOS device. Now, every time there's a new jailbreak, there are some tweaks that are not compatible yet. They require an update from the developers. And this is actually some of the tweaks that I found that are compatible with the latest jailbreak. Now, a lot of the tweaks that I'm gonna be covering today, I've actually covered in the past, and I'm gonna leave a video down below in the description of each of those tweaks because I'm just gonna briefly cover these tweaks and kind of give you an idea of what they do. I don't wanna spend too much time and bore you guys uh, with a full description if I've already done it in the past. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, first on the list is gonna be Alkaline. Now, Alkaline is available for free in the Modern My Eye repo. And what Alkaline is, it's a themable status bar battery replacement for iOS 7. So as you see up here on the top right, it's a new battery icon. So you can change it up to three different icons as you see here, that's available when you download Alkaline. But there are some tweaks available that will allow your battery bar to be changed to some other cool little icons. I've actually covered that in the past and I'll leave it down below. But in the settings, you'll be able to enable and disable the tweak. And then you'll be able to select the theme, which is gonna be Bolas, Habisha, and Spots. So that is Alkaline, you can find that for free in the Mod My Eye repo. Next up, we're gonna talk about Alki, which is one of my favorite tweaks, and it's available for $3.99 in the Big Boss repo. And with Alki, you'll be able to quick reply, you can quick compose, and more. So it's pretty awesome. As you see here, I'm able to quick reply to a text message, which is something that's available now on iOS 8. But anyways, you'll be able to quick reply. You can also quick compose a new text message straight from your notification center. And also it does come with some cool little features in your messages app, like you can actually now have icons of your contacts. And also you'll be able to silent different people on your phone. Next on the list is OXO2 for iOS 7. Now this is $3.99 in the Big Boss repo. And what it is, it's one of my favorite tweaks as well because it's a new way of multitasking. Uh, and I think this is probably the way multitasking should be. It has three cool features called multi center, quick switcher, and also hot corners. So with multi-center, you'll be simply able to pull up from the middle and then activate your multitask switcher, which is pretty awesome. And also, if you do notice, you do have a different layout uh, with your multi-center. It kind of takes more advantage of the screen. And I think one of my favorite features is the fact that you can simply swipe up on the home and then it'll allow you to close out all your applications. Also, you do notice the control toggles and things like that. They're kind of rearranged differently. Uh, but you'll still have access to all of those with OXO2. Another thing is called Quick Switcher where you can simply swipe from the bottom left and then quickly switch to your recent applications. And lastly, it has a thing called Hot Corners where you can simply select a corner which is by default the bottom right. And then with a simple swipe up on the bottom right corner, you'll be able to go back to your home screen. So it kind of closes out the application. Not fully, but it just simply goes back to the home screen. So I think that is pretty cool. Again, you can find OXO2 for $3.99 in the Big Boss repo. Next up is Barrel. You can find Barrel for free in the Big Boss repo. And what it is, it adds different effects to your icon pages when you're scrolling through your home screen. Uh, so as you see here, it's a very simple tweak, but it gives it a cool new visual and effect. You'll be able to choose 18 different modes. So you can pick this up for free in the Big Boss repo. Next, we have a tweak called Zeppelin, and it is free in the Mod My Eye repo. And what it is, you'll be able to change your carrier logo so you can set different logos and even customize your own. Uh, as you see here, you can change it to a variety of things uh, like the Apple logo, Android logo, your Batman logo, Nike sign. And also I made a video on how to customize it and make your own JB Tech 17 logo because that's what I usually rock on my device. Uh, if you would like to see that, again, the links to these videos will be down below in the description. And I think that is pretty cool. So again, Zeppelin allows you to just change a carrier logo to whatever you please, um, whether if you wanna customize it or just pick one that's already in Zeppelin, as you see here. And the next tweak is called Jelly Lock 7, and it is free in the Big Boss repo. And what it is, it kinda gives it like an Android style lock screen. You have this little circle in the middle and you'll be able to unlock your device by simply dragging that circular icon over to a certain app, or if you would like to launch a camera, or just simply unlock your device. You can assign up to five shortcuts. And as you see here, I have different shortcuts assigned to it. 
So again, this is Jelly Lock 7 and it is free, so I think it is a pretty cool tweak. Now the next tweak is called Swipe Selection. Now this is free in the Big Boss repo, and it's very, very useful, at least for me, because I do a lot of typing, a lot of texting, a lot of everything uh, that involves a keyboard on my iOS device. And what it allows you to do is swipe between texts. So when you are typing, you can simply swipe over to the left or right on your keyboard, and then it'll drag the little cursor over to the left or right, and then you'll be able to make changes. Instead of you having to actually pick and choose where you want that little cursor to go, uh, you'll be able to simply swipe left and right. So I think that is a pretty cool and useful tweak. It's called Swipe Selection. You can get it for free in the Big Boss repo. Now the next tweak is called Flux or F Flux, and it allows you to change the temperature of the screen display. So this is great, especially at night when you are maybe in bed or you're just waking up in the morning. Your screen may sometimes be a little too bright because the temperature of the screen is too cool. And what I mean by temperature is the color, not actually like a temperature like hot or cold. Uh, but yeah, it allows you to warm up the screen display as you see here. If you set your current location, it actually changes like at night at a certain temperature and then during the day it will be at another temperature. So I think it's a pretty cool tweak. It's great for the eyes because it, it doesn't really hurt or strain your eyes that much by changing the, the warmth of the screen display. Now another one of my favorite tweaks is color keyboard for iOS 7. You can actually pick this up for $1.99 in the Big Boss repo. And just by the title of the tweak, you probably already know what it does. It changes the color of your keyboard. So you'll be able to change different colors. You can even customize it with your own image, which is pretty awesome. They do have a variety of choices to choose from different keyboards. I normally like going black and red because that is like my favorite combo. Black and red or black and green, black and anything goes great. I really like that combo. But you'll be able to even add your own image to the background and then customize it yourself. So that is again color keyboard for iOS 7. It's $1.99 in the Big Boss repo. Now lastly, we have Spring to Mice 3, which I think this is like overall one of the best tweaks. I'm a huge fan of Spring to Mice, and you can actually pick it up for $2.99 in the Big Boss repo. And what it is, it's basically the only tweak you will need. And you can actually check out the full video down below in the description once again, where I do an in-depth review of this tweak. But basically, I just want to show you quickly what it allows you to do. You'll be able to change different things from your icons, your icon size. You can take off the labels. It allows you to do a lot of things with just one tweak. So just to kind of show you what I do normally with Spring to Mice 3 is this right here. I take off the labels and also shrink down the icons. And it just looks very, very clean without the labels and things like that. So... I think Spring to Mice 3, hands down, is one of the best tweaks, one of my favorite tweaks of all time. Go ahead and pick that up for $2.99 in the Big Boss repo. And once again, you can check out the video down below in the description where I go in depth of the actual tweak. But other than that, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And go ahead and leave a comment down below on what tweaks you've been using on iOS 7.1.1 or have you even jailbroken on iOS 7.1.1. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite tweak is. These are just some of the tweaks I ran into and I've tried out that are compatible with iOS 7.1.1. But as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. Also, if you're not following me on any of my social networks like Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or Instagram, all of my links are down below in the description. If you'd like to get a hold of me, normally Twitter is your best bet as I'm very active on Twitter. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you're not yet. And if you feel like being awesome and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so so you won't miss any of my future videos like this and other tech-related videos. Anyways, guys, go ahead and leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see next on the channel. But other than that, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace. I'm making moves, man.